I've created the Deep Dark City that was showcased as a new feature coming to Minecraft 1.19, the Wild Update. And in today's video, I'm going to show you all the cool and creepy stuff you can find in these cities. Also, only a small percentage of you watching are subscribed, so if you enjoy my content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Now, let's explore the Deep Dark City. The first thing you notice is that it's very dark here, which makes sense seeing as it's the Deep Dark. The main source of light are soul lanterns, soul fire, and candles. There are buildings around that are made up of multiple deep slate block variants that are very ominous. There is a bridge here that is also made up of deep slate blocks, and this bridge runs across the entire area. It also has sections that branch up and down, so you can access other areas of the city. All around the city, there are patches of skulk blocks that look like this. These patches of skulk are made up of three different skulk blocks. Skulk sensors, skulk blocks, and skulk growth. The Skulk Sensor is a block that has been seen before in snapshots and betas, but I custom made the two other blocks, so they may look different once they're actually added into the game. Speaking of Skulk things, I've added a new mob into the Deep Dark, the Wardenling. This is a baby version of the Warden that roams around the Deep Dark, and while this mob may be a baby, it's still very hard to fight. This mob can randomly come out of a patch of Skulk, which can make for a very frightening jump scare. The mob also does 6 hearts of damage when you're wearing no armor, so it's very strong and packs quite a punch. This mob also has 25 hearts of health, so it can take quite a while to kill. As long as you're quiet, it won't know you're there though, so the key is to move around without making any sound. There are multiple random other structures that are found around these cities, such as random walls that are built, and random walkways. These walkways are lit up by candles and have quite a few holes and cracks in them, but they can be a good way to get around the city, since they usually stretch fairly long and are already lit up with light to protect you from mobs. Overall, just walking around here and exploring the area was really creepy and scary, and I think it brings a really cool new aspect to Minecraft, which is really exciting to see. I'm thinking about doing a more in-depth part 2 to this video, where I add a few features that I didn't get around to adding in this video, and build even more to the Deep Dark City. If you want to see that part 2, leave a like on this video and a comment saying that a part 2 would be pretty cool. And while you're down there leaving a comment, hit the subscribe button as well if you don't want to miss my future content. Also, I want to give a big thank you to Mashy Sob for helping me build this so quickly. His channel will be linked down below in the description, so make sure to go check him out. And with that, I'll see you all next time.